I'm always on the pursuit for finding recipes that taste like they took hours and hours to make, but in fact, they only took a few minutes. And that's why I dearly, dearly love this recipe. This is my recipe for roasted mushrooms with soy and balsamic. They are the most versatile things ever. I'm telling you, I make them all the time. I make them for chicken, to top chicken, beef. You can put it on the top of like an antipasto board as one of the little accoutrements, or you can just have them on the side as a side dish. I love them so, so much and they are like the easiest things that you could possibly make on the side and they taste like you took hours to do. So I have my mushrooms here. There's lots and lots of cremini mushrooms, AKA baby Bella. It's the same thing. Fun fact, by the way, I don't know if you knew this because I didn't know this. I always thought that when you get the mushrooms in the grocery store, the dirt, on the mushrooms is like actually the soil from outside. <laughs> well, I learned something today and maybe Google is wrong. So don't quote me on this, but this stuff, the uh, so-called dirt on the mushrooms is actually pasteurized peat moss. So you can eat it and not feel like you're gonna get sick on it. Although you should kind of like brush them off and make sure that there's no extra dirt. So anyways, that's my spiel. I have my mushrooms in an eight by eight. It's actually a brownie pan. And you can use whatever type of pan you want, but I find this is the perfect size for a pound of mushrooms. I have here, I actually need to smell it to tell you what it is. It's balsamic. I have my balsamic vinegar here, and I'm just going to pour this right over my mushrooms. And then this one must be the soy. They look the same, so I didn't know which was which but I'm doing soy and balsamic. The soy is going to add a saltiness and that umami, it's gonna complement the umami of the mushrooms. And then the balsamic is gonna add a nice sweetness and really kind of mellow out the flavors and add acidity. So then I have some chopped up minced garlic. And I just, you know, how do you not put garlic in things? I'm always looking for an excuse to put garlic in something. And then I have some melted butter, just a tiny little bit, a tablespoon or so. And this is salted butter, but you can also use regular. And this is just going to really combine the balsamic and the soy together and make it a little bit more rich and soft. And then I have this adorable little thing of maple syrup. Is this not the cutest thing ever? And I'm just going to add in eh, like a little tiny bit maybe like a quarter teaspoon or so. And then just some black pepper. And the final ingredient is thyme. I have some fresh thyme here. Thyme and mushrooms is just really, really nice. Um, I don't even know why it's so delicious. It really just is, but this will just add a nice pop of freshness. You can just pull the thyme leaves right off the stem and uh, you're gonna wanna do like two or so sprigs of thyme. So then all you have to do is take a spoon, a big spoon, and you're gonna lightly toss these guys around. And by the way, you can take the stems off of your mushrooms or you can leave them on. I do about half and half because I kinda like how they look when it's they're not all off, but some of them are. Now that these are all ready to go in our oven, all you need to do is roast them for about 15 minutes on 400 degrees. About halfway through, you're gonna wanna toss your mushrooms once again, just to make sure that they're really coated in that beautiful balsamic soy mixture. See you then. Look at those beauties. Oh, the smell in here. It smells like we spent all day making mushrooms, but that's not reality. <laughs> so you can either plate your mushrooms in like a cute little dish like this, or you can just leave them rustically right in the dish and serve them table side. You can even add just a little bit of fresh thyme on the top, which I like to do, just to make it look pretty right on the top. 
I need to get a little bit of this juice. The juice is everything, and that's why it's so good on like chicken or beef. Yum. I need bread to sop this all up. Mmm, so juicy. <laughs> the soy, the sweetness of the balsamic, the garlic, the thyme, everything works. And it seriously tastes like you've been roasting these for hours. It's that good. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. Oh no. That is so sad. You know what's also more sad? This.